Three friends, one podcast with some real talk. We'll be playing around, but we ain't going to lie. Peace, peace. The wait is finally over. Yes, sir. It's about time. It's about time, fellas. Sure, you're right. Been a long time coming. Indeed. Ain't gonna lie, podcast. You ready for takeoff? Yes, sir. Episode one. Salute to that. Bye. Let's go. Take a little sip mm-hmm. before I dip. Hey. Hey. Ah. Good. I'm breathing. <laughs> 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 All right, how you feel tonight, folks? How you feel? Blessed you and feeling? highly favored, brother, as always. Blessed and highly favored. Excited to be here, no yes. doubt. Thanks. It's been a long wait, a long process, and we finally here. Yeah, let's kick it off right. Let me properly introduce myself. My name is Akeem Williams. Some know me as Ak from the block. Keemy, if you know me for a long time. Yes, sir, Ski. <laughs> mm-hmm. This grown-ass kid to my right, this is my brother, Ron. Yes, sir. Brother to my left, this is Fabian. Also known as Fabiano to the ladies. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> and we here. I do have a little message for you. Thank you just for being here watching. Um, we're doing this for a bunch of reasons. First, for just peace, love, able to be ourselves, be connected at all times, something to laugh about. We're here for you as you are here for us. So we hope you keep watching. We hope you enjoy what we got to say. You stay entertained, and you just love who we are, because we're going to keep being us, keep giving the truth, and never going to lie. This, this first episode is going to be about us. We thought it'd be a good idea to, you know, for you guys to get to know us a little bit so that you care f- for w- what we have to say. Hey, let's talk about a little bit, like, how we met. You know, we, we, we met at Laughing Man, which is a coffee shop slash restaurant. Come over here if you haven't been here. Shout out to Laughing Man. Yes, sir. Indeed. Shout out to Lively, man. That last laugh bar. Go pull up on him, too. You heard? Tell him I came central, too. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> the people's champ. They, they know me. That's a fact. That's a fact. I started, yeah. uh, I started uh, two years ago. I made two years, what was it, a week ago. And on my second day, I met Ron. I was in the kitchen cooking. And Ron came in, and we kind of connected right away. Kitchen you know, cooking? Yeah, yeah, he was in the kitchen, kitchen cooking. cooking. Wait, who, you? Little known fact, <laughs> I've done it all in laughing, man. I've been a cook. I, 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 I prep. I've never heard this. I was a porter, you hearing, you hearing cashier. It and I was <laughs> all the talks we done had in that kitchen. Y'all ain't telling me he was working in the kitchen? But yeah, nah, uh, it's been two years. I've had a lot of time to grow with my brothers Amen. and get real close with them. 100%. Yeah, I, I met Akeem a little later. You know, I, I think... You was coming back from an accident, right? Yeah, people don't know how to drive outside. I don't know what's wrong with New York. Half of y'all should not have no license. I'm going to tell you that right now. But yeah, I was out with a shoulder injury. Uh, same shoulder he was tapping on a little hard. For me, that <laughs> brought me back some memories. But uh, yeah, I was out with a shoulder injury. By that time, I think I've been here about three years. First person I, um, I met was Ron. You know, the mother earth <laughs> <laughs> brought us together. <laughs> We got to chopping it up. Uh, we shared similar backgrounds, uh, similar similar uh, characteristics, uh, likes in the world, and it was all from there. My boy Fabian, I actually don't even remember our first day, but love is love. I mean, we clicked. It was all from Thanks. there. You hear me? Man, by love. Don't play like that. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and we've been rocking ever since. I only I only like people that have similarities. Uh, that, that share similarities with me, excuse me, and I don't click with everybody. So once I click with them, I know I was good. Yes, sir. I feel like most people are, are like that. You, mm-hmm. you only you only get close to people because you see a certain part of yourself in them. Facts. You'd be surprised. It's a lot of cappers out here in this world. That's, That's what we here for, ladies and gentlemen. Stop the cap. Stop the bullshit. Cut the fat and li- fill it with some facts. You heard? Indeed. <laughs> now my story, how I met these cats. Like I said, Fabian said second day we started. You just, you know, when you meet somebody at first at the job, oh, what's your name? What you do outside of work? You're just talking for like an hour maybe. And then ever since that, every single day at work, we talk every single day. We came close. Even the ugly things about each other, we told each other, made it funny. And that's the good thing about our relationship, me and him, you know. The ugly things are very funny. It's a negative, It's a positive in every negative to us. And my boy, Ak, 
Um, <laughs> he was out for three months before I started. I mean, while when I started, uh, due to an injury, as you heard. And I kept hearing that he's going to be coming back, coming back. I'm like, who is this? Who is this? Like, who is this? I, I, I kept hearing, I came the dream. That's yeah, it. Like, I came yeah. the dream. I came the dream. Yo, I ain't going to lie. Y'all not the first two people I heard that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, yo, I'm like, who is who is this? I came to drop. I thought I was the dream. The I thought, the yeah, I thought I was you. Was champ. I'm the governor. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. I'm the gatekeeper. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to be tapping. Sorry. What up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but go on. I'll, please but, continue. Yeah, continue. Facts, continue. Facts. continue. <laughs> so came through his first day back. Everybody was showing him love, respect. Um, he was showing love and respect. Even he didn't even know me. He showed me love and respect. He was very cordial. And I think the probably a week later. Or then probably two days later, we was, you know, we left work together, connected on different levels, talked about our past, and just, we got deep, pause. Word. Um, Notice he said a week later, sorry to cut you off, because where we come from, you got to sit back and analyze a dude from a, feel me, for a nice. little time, from a from a distance, check his, his movements, because if he ain't moving correctly, we ain't even going to get to the conversation. Yes, sir. That's what I be saying about, that's what I was saying about that capping. People don't just, oh, I really did share something. No, you just wanted something from him to be around him. Yeah. All that. It cut look, that it out. Look cool. yeah, it look cool. It look cool. It look cool. Look good. Yeah. They, that looks good. We look good. I'm just saying. But go ahead. I'm sorry. And then, you know, from there, we just kept growing and texting every day. Pause, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, talking about fashion, sports, music, TV shows, as in power, you know, um, um, fatherhood and I think that right there connected us the most, fatherhood. Yeah. I don't know how us three became all close, but yeah, it's a weird dynamic, it but it works. Yeah, it does work. They had their own relationship. Yeah. I had a relationship with both of them. Yeah, we never like really sat down and came together. It just like on purpose. It just happened. It just happened. Bro. It just happened, and and it's interesting how it started like that, and now look at us. You know, we're here doing a podcast. Yeah, I fact. think, <laughs> I think honestly, that's that's another that's another toast right there. Uh, if I, mean, hey, I, I, I got to refill my cup. The reason why we're here right now is. Uh, so we used to host this thing, and it happened naturally, honestly. It, it, we used to host this thing called, uh, what was it? In, in the kitchen? Kitchen talk. Kitchen talk, mm. whatever it was. And, uh, you know, I would get off at around 2 o'clock, and I came, would get off at 4, and, you know, Ron is in the kitchen, you know, throwing it down. And, and he also gets off at 4, so... Two hours, I'd go in there, and we just talk about life, talk about each other, talk Whoa, about the people. Not me for the two hours. I was busy working. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let's cut nah, that. As, as a, <laughs> I don't know about that. that that's out of it. Yeah, I would yeah. dip in and out do my thing, but you feel me? I yeah. still have work to do. Let's sit. Yeah. Whenever he would come into the kitchen, yeah. he'd drop a gem and leave. Facts. Facts. <laughs> but, it, it, and we would do that every, every almost every day, every day. That, that we worked together. And then one day... Uh, a good friend of ours, Tracy, who's also producer. Shout out to Tracy for making producer this possible. Producer and a manager. Big Trace. Big Trace on the wall. Tracy. Shout out to Tracy. T-Town. 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 Yeah. Shout out to the boy. She <laughs> she ended up walking into the kitchen one day, and she just stayed there, I guess, intrigued by by what she was hearing. And Tracy, who, uh, she's also uh, she has a history with uh, podcast. She actually runs her own co- uh, podcast. Talk with, Talk Trace, with Trace, you know, sir. check Shout it out, out on Apple Shout Music, out to Talk I mean, with Trace. iTunes and YouTube, check it out, Coming Talk with Trace. Coming soon, you heard? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, she she heard what, what we had to say, she stood there, she asked us questions as if she was interviewing us, and she was like, yo, I could produce this. <laughs> 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 I could really produce this. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, to well, at first, I no this. at first, we didn't know what she meant. But then, you know, she kind of laid out like a little plan in front of us. And at first, you know, you talk to people like us from yeah. our upbringing with big plans like that. We kind of go back a little bit, you know. Hundred percent. We're a little scared, but you know, I have, uh, I believe in my brothers and I believe in myself. And we, we, we took, you know, we took life by, by the, mm, by, by the, by the horns. Wow. Yeah. The there horn. you go. And now we are here. And we thought it would be, it, we thought it would be good to make a podcast just to, we know it's a lot of podcasts out right now, but we think, you know, three young, three young guys from the same cloth, um, with complex minds, different perspectives, um, same respect level, same love, you know, giving us what we think is important to the world. Um, no one's going to say everything we say is important or it means something, but it means something to us. And we want to share it with you. Um, that's why we think 
Well, we made the podcast, you know. And I think uh, I think what we're gonna have to say, uh, I think it's gonna be resonating with a lot of people, but specifically young men. Well, because obviously that's where we are. Mm-hmm. Uh, but everybody, and I mean everybody's gonna find things, pull it out and use them. That's, uh, a, that's a promise. That's a promise. The young men, older men, the ladies, we here for everybody. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, cause and we don't always agree with each other. <laughs> so don't get it twisted. <laughs> remember that. You know, right, remember we, that. We we go back and forth. We bump heads. We contemplate, we we uh we correct each other. But yeah, so we here for you, y'all here for us, man. And we gonna be real. That's the really that that's the the biggest thing about this podcast. We're gonna be real. We're gonna say what you're thinking. That is for sure. No holes bar. Thanks. We have a we got a couple questions from you, um, that we gathered around. And it's personal questions, funny questions, weird questions, very deep questions, you know, any kind of questions. We're going to read a couple, answer them, and, you know, let's get into it, man. <clears throat> First question. Uh, we got Grisha. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot her name. <laughs> That's Jirash. Jirash. Excuse me. Jirash. Sorry, Jirash. <laughs> Sorry, Jirash. Sorry, we love you. <laughs> Jirash from Florida. What is your guys' message, and why is it important for you, to you, for the podcast? I would say, for me, my message is uh, being real with yourself, being real with others, cutting through the the, the bullshit of life, and uh, getting straight to the point, doing what's best for, for you and for the other ones around you. We're here to teach family. And togetherness, that's for sure. But keeping it real with each other, that's for sure. Off the rip. <clears throat> How about you? I believe that life is very simple, but us humans make it so hard and difficult. Um, if you just find that little balance of simple in everything, or balance of understanding in everything, everything will be simple. Making life so simple. That's what it is. Peace and love. I think uh, one thing that we're definitely going to naturally inspire people to do is... Uh, is chase what they want to do. Be confident in what, in, in what you want to do. If you have a goal and and you wanna and you wanna pursue it, envision it and go do it. You know that's what we're doing right now. Facts. You're, uh, you're doing it too. You're exactly. Doing too with your DJ. Yes, sir. Facts, man, man. My boy's a DJ. Spinning on the tune tables real soon. Amen. A table near you. What's the DJ name again, Brody? As of right now, it's Fabio Gotti. Fabio hey. Gotti. Hey. Fabio Gotti. Hey. <laughs> but that might change. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is what we ain't gonna lie. Yeah, so it's 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 shoot that shit. But yeah, just be yourself. Be confident in who you are. Be confident in the people around you. Chase your goals. Envision your goals and walk towards them. That's it. Uh, why is that important to me? I see a lot of people around me. People that I love. People full of talent. People full of promise. And they really they overcomplicate it in the head and. It's really simple. You want to do something, you go and do it. If you love something, you go and do it because you love it. And don't let society control your mind on what you want to do. Just yeah. go ahead and do it. Don't say because the next person, oh, he fell, so I'm going to fail too. No, just go ahead and do that shit. Just go ahead and do it. Take the I mean, risk. Let me spin the block because I was a little, <clears throat> you know, boxed down on my first response. Keep it real with yourself. I believe that's the first step in life, keeping it real and honest with yourself. You know, lying, lying to yourself Lying to other people, it only hinders you. I promise you. It only hinders you. The first step is being honest with yourself, being truthful with yourself. And like my boy said, keeping things simple. And don't make it hard on yourself. Things is right there in front of you. Make it happen. Amen. For sure. Amen. That was a good question. Yes, sir. <laughs> shout out to Drash again from Florida. From Florida. I, yeah, shout out to you. Apologies. <laughs> uh, question number two. Tristan, local hero. Uh, shout out to his band, Autumn Estate. <laughs> Fact, Looked them up. My boy Trey. Shout out to my boy Trey. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, talented man. Uh, and he's in a band full of talented musicians. Mm-hmm. Looked them up. Autumn Estate. He asked, how did you prepare for the first episode and the podcast as a whole? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know how these guys prepare. I know we all practice, like, just, just speaking to each other. That, that in itself is preparation. But me, myself... I have this thing when I when I speak, I kind of just jumble my words. Like I speak very, and, and I have a little bit of an accent. I got to stutter, so I'm trying to. I'm trying right now, actively trying to 
you know, speak clearly uh, so you guys can hear what I have to say clearly. Uh, that's all I've done, honestly, in uh, just gathering information, trying to be more insightful, I guess. Mm-hmm. What about y'all? Uh, be honest, I just told myself, be you. Don't forget who you are. Don't try to be somebody else. When I'm free to be me, it's a beautiful thing. It's it's a work of art. I, I don't know how you guys feel. But. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, I just reminded myself to be me. Uh, I did some meditation <laughs> of some sort. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, just be me. You know, be free. Be Akeem. Be Ak, be Kimi. Whoever you see me as is who I am all the time. And I had to tell myself, why you even had to think about this? Like, who else do you even know to be but me? That's true. So that's what you're getting, ladies and gents. Yes, sir. You what about Ron? <coughs> What's the question again? The, <laughs> the, que- <laughs> the question was, how did you prepare uh, for the podcast today and uh, episodes for the future? To be honest, as always, um, just watch other podcasts, work on my speaking too, I guess, same thing as Fabian said. I talk very fast when I get a little nervous. Same. Um, so... Yeah, it's really just it. Watch other podcasts and just take in life as what it is. Take in life notes. Third question is from Oscar from Colombia. <laughs> yes, sir. Hello, ladies from Colombia. Colombia. <laughs> the prettiest. I love you. Um, what do you guys look for in a woman? And why do you value those things? Oh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who first that right, back? Right. <laughs> you, you first that back? <laughs> what do I look for in a woman? Oh man, this can go all day. <laughs> <laughs> but son, I look for in a woman. Uh, honesty, respect, self-respect, um, sense of fashion. You gotta know how to dress. Fucking with me. Um, <laughs> That's a fact. That's important. Be able to hold a conversation, but the most important one to me is your mental. How you think, how you treat your friends, how you treat your mom, how you feel about kids. Just your mental about everything. If it's complex like mine, I value that because I'm complex. I ain't someone who's complex as me. Keep me on my toes. So, and of, oh, and of course, you know. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be that guy. Of course, you know the body. You know um, <laughs> I knew that was <laughs> the I was face card. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah, <laughs> and and um, you gotta you gotta have the thighs. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm, you know what I mean. Right, listen, listen. You, got, you gotta have them thighs. Okay. Um, I just love me. I love all women. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say. Cheers, I love you. Cheers to the women in the type shit. Nothing. Um, <laughs> what I look for in a woman, I need a sh- first of all strong. I'm okay with independence. I need a strong, independent woman because, God forbid, I die today. I want you to be able to survive and keep yourself going and keep our family name going mm. and hold it up strongly. Uh, Preach from, from what I've taught you From what we've learned together What you've learned before me uh, I definitely need a woman that could cook Because I come from a southern background I'll be goddamn <laughs> If I don't come home to a home cooked meal I'll be damn uh, yeah. yes, uh, A smart Of course an intelligent intellectual I want to be able to learn from you Just like I want you to be able to learn from me you know, I do have a shallow side, I will say. So, you know, I do like pretty feet. I do like a woman who keeps up with her nails and hair and things of that nature. And trust me, I'm ain't here to help. wrong with that. Yeah, I'm here to help too, baby. I ain't one of those that got a problem and ain't willing to fix it. So, mm, you should want that. You <laughs> should want it. You feel yeah, me? Uh, and I want to, I also want a woman who knows how to be a woman. And I don't like, I'm not trying to shut <laughs> no woman up. I don't want you to walk behind me. But I do want you to be a woman and let me be a man. What does that mean? Damn, you know, I got I got to be careful now. Yeah, I, I got to, I I know got what to mean be by that careful. One. Every situation doesn't call for a woman. And now this depends on what type of woman you're going for, where you found it, yada, yada. But, like, you don't got to 
react maybe uh, angrily with every situation. Because some, you know, a lot of females, they like to react angry. Not all of you guys, I apologize. Not all of you guys, <laughs> uh, you know, might react angrily. Or, you know what, I don't, I'm going to say me. I don't like my lady to react angrily or loudly with every said situation. Etiquette. You know? Etiquette. Proper etiquette. You know? Uh, and, I did, and that's another thing. Etiquette at the table. I like I, I like a woman with etiquette because I'm For sitting sure. at a table with Please. etiquette. You know? But anywho, sometimes I'm not even going to react loudly all the time. You know? Sometimes you can get you can get more bees with honey than you do with shit. Talking now. You feel me? <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to react <laughs> angrily or loudly every single time because every said situation ain't call for that. Because I know when I get angry, I'm gonna get angry. I might I'm burning everything down. Yes, sir. The so, world is over. You know, so I like to pick and choose my said situations of getting angry. And I definitely want my lady doing that too. Picking your battles. Yeah. Killing Wakanas. Killing you feel Wakanas. me? Killing Thank you, thank you, thank you, gentlemen. This yes, is why sir. I hang around these guys because they have finished my sentence for me. You want the same thing. You feel me? <laughs> um But nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. So this is why I say well, we gotta learn from each other. We gotta teach each other. But you gotta be open to that. That's why I say I want an independent woman, but <coughs> not too independent where she thinks she can't learn from me. And then that falls into letting a man be a man. You know, we are provided, we're we're good enough to provide, we're good enough to protect. But you're not. We're not good enough for you to learn from us. Only, wow. to, only yeah. for you to teach. Wow, yeah. wow. that's some real shit right there. Yo, know it. It. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we are not the same. We are not the same. <laughs> we are not oh, the that. same. That but anywho, I like that one. Uh, like that. You know things that I need. I'm, I'm all into fairness. I'm all into honesty. I'm all into letting people be who you are. Grow with each other. Ain't nobody perfect. Love is a risk. It's a 24-hour job. I, if you signed up and you, you to the commitment. Sign up for the commitment. Don't have fast. Yeah. You feel me? Full throttle. Yeah. If you loved me in the beginning for this, love me ten years down the line for that. Wow. Don't get mad. Don't if you if you don't like that, say it now. But That's what I said. A Shit. reference to earlier. Stop lying. <laughs> Keep it truthful. Stop Even the if cap. you the marriage don't don't sign marriage doesn't sign you up to lie to each other. Relationships don't sign you up to fake it to fake it till you make it. That boy preaching right now. I'm just saying. Come man. on now. I'm just. Yeah, I took a chance to that. Pastor but, King. But enough about my opinion. Who, Fabiano? Please, Fabiano. <laughs> Take your time, brother. What I look for in a woman, well, for starters, if <laughs> like my brothers, <laughs> if this makes me shallow, then it makes me shallow. But before I even care to have a conversation with you. You know, in that intimate way of you becoming my woman, I need to be attracted to you physically. You got to have a beautiful face. <laughs> that ass, you got to have a beautiful face. Yeah, shit. I, I, like no, the, I, I respect I, it. I respect I, it. I respect it. I like it. to wake. The, I like awake. I like to wake up to the sun shining in my face. Hey, yeah, come on now. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. But aside from that, I like a woman who's kind. Wait, but hold on. But why is that shallow though? It's only shallow because people imply that if it wasn't, it, it, a woman could be beautiful inside. But if she's ugly outside, you wouldn't even give her the, and, and not yeah, ugly outside. Let me take that back. If she's not as beautiful on the outside. <laughs> it's crazy that you even ask that. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just asking for this for your opinion. Like, why is that shallow? Because. I don't think it is. I think it's think real. It I think it's honest. I think it's I mean, that it is, but it's honestly shallow. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there's other I, people I, in the world. There's good people in the um, very good looking people in the world. I mean, but are we going for looks or are we going for uh, longevity? Because she might not look beautiful 10 years down the line, but she's still going to be a nice person 10 years down the line. But does that make you, does that give you depth then? Let, let, let's flip it around. If, if you date an ugly person, if you date an ugly, <laughs> if you date somebody who's not that beautiful, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> does that make you deep as a person? Does Does that make you yeah, profound? Like, nah. They don't change. I you. mean, how does it now? You look past it. All right, but, but, but there's other areas that you might not. I'm saying so. If some, if a lady is cooking for you, what it depends on what you like. Let me not just say cooking. Like, what no, 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 no. Because I, I like a woman that cooks. Yeah. That that might not be his. Nah, his, he, he his like that. You do? I do, but I want to learn how to cook so I can cook for my woman too. Yeah, me too. Same, same, same. I think that's the only thing I'm ripping, missing from my repertoire. But I'm not, I am a cook, a... ladies. <laughs> I am a cook. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but like, say your lady is motivating you, lifting you up when you're down, holding you down. You were that maybe you were up when you first met and you fell off 
a little while after she's hold she chose to stay with you and hold you down for sure and this could have happened in the first six weeks six months six days and she's not the most but you gave she wasn't beautiful she wasn't as beautiful as a woman that you might be used to going out to going out with excuse me but you said, fuck it, let me give her a chance. I'll I'll appreci- now, I would appreciate her. I would appreciate, I would thank her. And Can I you would marry her? No. What? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to me either. Oh my God. I just, you know what it is? She'd be, she be a good friend. She'd be a good friend. Oh shit. She'd be a good friend. Keep yeah. Me, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah she could be a, a best friend. Right? Yeah. Type but shit. I just know what I want. Yeah. I want a woman who's beautiful. Okay. I want a woman who's kind. I want a woman who's smart. I want a woman who's ambitious. But more than anything, this is the most important part, probably mm-hmm. more important than the beautiful part. I want a woman who's happy because I'm not here okay. mm, to be stressed. I, that. I haven't I always that. been a happy person, mm-hmm. but right now I can say for myself, I feel happy. Okay. And I want to meet somebody that I can share my happiness with. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not give your happiness away to. Exactly. That you become angry in the world. Exactly. Okay. Man, Again, nobody was, is perfect. Yeah, no one's perfect. No one's perfect. All I, I know, mean, I think I think people are perfect. Like my mom, she's my perfect. My little sister, she's my perfect. Perfect. Yeah, perfect yeah, for you. To me. We talk, but you don't see your mother and your sister in the same light as your. I mean, your partner. it be my partner. She's my perfect. Okay, but I'll take her. Okay. Out, however she come. Yes, sir. She's my okay. perfect. Now, what? Now I'm gonna ask you. What if she becomes unperfect? What do you do? I mean, hopefully, try to fix it. Okay, <coughs> I, I'm glad you said that. And you yeah, didn't say be, I'm out. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it also depends how much time has been um, invested in this. If it's more than a year, <coughs> okay. then it's like, okay, All right. I'm going to try to fix this, see what the problem with, you know, this, that, and the third. But if it's like a, for a few months, the way I think about life, people come and go. You meet them every single day. If it's for a few months and she she become unperfect, fuck it, I'm out. It is what it is. It is what it is. All in all, I, I hope the message you got from us is that we love <laughs> and we respect women and we love women. That's we all, all women, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. What's the... Um, yeah, let's move on to the next question. Yes. Give me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mr. Juan McLovin yes, from New York City. Mr. My boy Juan. Shout out to Juan. He's a good friend of Fabian's, good friend of ours, one of Fabian's best friends. Shout out to Juan. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> That's a good one. He said, what was your honest first opinion of each other? Oh, Did anyone rub the, rub the other the wrong way? <laughs> uh, let me think. Let me think. Nah, I'm capping. Nah, nah, nah. Cause I ain't gonna lie. Once you run me, the, once you rub me the wrong way, it, adios, semigos. <laughs> what we doing here? I, first of all, I'm at work. I ain't come here to wait, make friends. I came here to get make this money. Yes, sir. I, I don't know about y'all. That's a note to you all. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I didn't come here for kicks and giggles and bubbles and fucking popcorn. Excuse my French, but. I came here to get this cash. I don't know about y'all. So they, uh, I wasn't even, you know, looking for nobody. But that's what the beauty of not looking for nobody is. When you come together, it's like, oh, yeah, that's my dog. It was flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my dog. He official, he official tissue. Yeah, yeah, yeah we out, bro. <laughs> you feel me? But, uh, yeah, they was cool with me. No, no first rubs. No, no, excuse me. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna let it slide. I was gonna let it slide. I wasn't even gonna, gonna, gonna say it. I was gonna, yeah, I I gonna let it go. I couldn't I even let that slide. Go, she go, she go ahead, <laughs> they ain't run me the wrong way. My first impressions was that's my bro. I could bang with him. So you know, yeah, it was lit from there. Why would you, you gentlemen? Uh, my first impressions of the fellas. I'm gonna go with Fabian first. Uh, just a cool cat. First impression, he was a cool cat. Um. Very artistic. He was in a group at the time, a band. Um, what was it called again? Whale and Wasps. You Whale can still look us up, baby. You yes, can still look us up. Um, he was in a group, so I was intrigued by the group and what he does. So that's the group. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, he said gloop. Oh, group. <laughs> um, the gloop. <laughs> and he was just a cool kid. Very artistic. See, he's and very, <laughs> very funny. Um, my boy Og. Um, first impression. Damn that boy smooth. <laughs> nah, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> um, generous, very generous. Um, I ain't gonna lie. He probably, I don't want to <laughs> put a stigma on that, but he's my one of my oldest friends, and it don't feel that way. He just, you know, who he is. Is no age. Is no color. Is no. It just him. If that makes sense. Um, he's the energy. 
That's why I feel like first impression. He was the energy that I always wanted to be around. So yeah, yeah. <coughs> I would say uh, my first impressions. I first met Ron. I met him in the kitchen. I thought he was a uh, right away. I thought he was funny. <laughs> Just right right away. I thought he was funny, and I I I got to know him a little bit. And I re I connected with him because we both are very into art. We're both into music. We're both into movies. Woman. <laughs> Work of art for sure. And um <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all so fools, yo. <laughs> and yeah, I just thought yo, Ron's funny and he's he's artistic, he's creative just like me, and that's why we connected. Uh with with Keen. I thought he was very funny too. <laughs> they both funny. We all funny. Yeah. But I thought in our own way. Yes, yeah, sir. I thought Akeem was funny in a like in a in a loud way, like in a in an expressive, passionate way, and and he when he speaks, everybody who's around listens and everybody laughs because everything he has to say is funny. Yeah, not loud like loud. I don't like that loud. Explosive. Yeah, like, it's explosive. Very, like, it comes over like explosive, yeah. explosive, explosive, explosive. Yeah. <laughs> don't play like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Oh, but yeah, man. I thought I also thought he was a, a very good worker, and in many ways, at that at that time period, I kind of I kind of mo- moved in his in his footsteps. I learned a lot from my king, you know, working working at Laffy Man. He very very passionate about what he does, even very if articulate. it's very very. And man, I yeah, don't speak fast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, they they didn't rub me the wrong way at all. No, not at all. When it's real, it's real. Yes, when you come from the same cloth, how the fuck I'm gonna rub you the wrong way? We we the same material. You don't feel like? Actually, you know what that's called? A real one. <laughs> <laughs> so you stupid? <laughs> yeah. Come on now. <clears throat> Let's see. Next question. This is a question from Mary from Missouri. Shout out to Mary. Shout out to Missouri. Wherever you at? <laughs> she asked, "What are your biggest?" What are your biggest inspirations, and how did growing up in New York City influence that? Mm. Um, I say my biggest inspirations for sure is everything art based. I say music, I would say painting, street art, uh, movies, and just the competition in New York City is uh, it's undeniable. Everybody's in, everybody is at the same time we're all in it for ourselves but we're all helping each other along the way we're all climbing the ladder and and we might be trying to win get first place but we're also helping the people around us um and i i would say yeah the the drive that i have in me it comes from new york city and the reason why i'm chasing shit right now in any aspect in my life is because i'm from new york city it, it an automatic fire under my ass. what about y'all <clears throat> I would have to say Growing up in New York City uh, The single moms Was mm. a big inspiration to me Growing up Mom is a single mom But seeing a lot around New York City That shows a world within the world um, You gotta deal with the world at home Your kids And did they go to school Feeding them Your mental health as a mom With no help Then going out to the world Dealing with New York City Just you know That's a very That's a, that's a superpower right there um, my mom just told me, just seeing that, how to have grit, hustle, uh, touch on the detail, stay the course, keep pushing, whatever you got, make it work. And it's hard living in New York as a single mom. So I took that, like, it's hard living in New York now as a, as a young male. Um, so I use that analogy from a single moms on me. So that's my biggest inspiration. Single mother. Shout out to all the single moms out there. Mama, I love you. Amen. Me too. <laughs> Word. Love you too, mama. Mama wrong. Facts. The main one of the main reasons why we first connected, mm-hmm. sharing the uh, the history of uh coming from a single parent home. <clears throat> so my biggest inspiration is mama love, that's for sure. May she rest in peace because she's no longer with us. Rest in peace. Watching her raise me, my two sisters, uh by herself, uh get up every day, rain, sleet, hella snow. Going to work to provide for us, that shape molded me. Mm-hmm. Uh, is me. If you you've been around me, you can't talk to me within. You can't have two conversations with me and not hear about my mother, not hear about my son. I'm very big of very big on my upbringing. 
very big on my family because I come from a broken home. When you come from a broken home, you yearn for family. So you learn to cherish family. She had me since I was, uh, she adopted me since I was about, I'd say 10, but had me since I was two months old. Uh, never met my pops, biological mother in and out of jail. Uh, I grew up, which is also my second probably uh, inspiration is the hustlers in my family. You know, I grew up in a bad neighborhood around some good bad, good and bad people, but my mother's who kept me seen. My mother's mm -hmm. who kept me sheltered and away from that danger. And if she didn't do that, I don't even know if I'd be sitting here talking to you gentlemen. 100%. I might not even made it to C21 because I have a close friend who didn't make it to C21 because of being outside or doing the things in the um in the streets. Uh in the to the second inspiration, the hustlers that I grew up around or might be um <clears throat> in the family. This is why I work the way I work. Mm -hmm. This is why I, <clears throat> that, I, grit. that grit, that grind, that struggle, that won't quit, mm -hmm. that can't stop me. You can't Hastings. break me. Can't you stop, might, won't stop. You feel me? You might I might bend, you might shake, but I am I don't break. You feel me? And if I shake back, I'm shaking the whole room. You feel me? I've told many uh, customers that we run across. I've told my brothers. Uh, I watched my grandmother uh, literally get up rain, sleet, hell, or snow. Take me to school. Take my uh, sisters to school. I have a hist I had a childhood of asthma. So being in the hospital, going back and forth to work, uh, nonstop. Nonstop. It's like, how do I miss a day here? How do I take a break? And that's in life, at the job, anything. Anyway, yeah. That's why when people ask me what am I good at, anything I put my mind to. Because mm. watching her uh, work, hustle, uh, bust her behind part, provide, don't not complain, I could never take a day off. It took, I started, when I was working at Laughing Man, you know how long it took me to take a day off? Two and a half years. Damn, that's crazy. That's heavy. But I won't that's go on. That's that, my biggest. That's like king for you. Don't let yeah. me. Don't let yeah. me. Don't let me get the tearing up. It's, it's, it's gonna be some tears. It's yeah. gonna. It will be you some know? tears. We gonna laugh. You gonna be we crying. Gonna cry. We gonna be crying. She gonna be crying. They gonna be crying. Everybody yeah. gonna be crying. But you know? yeah. Shout out to the mothers. Shout out to the inspirations. Shout out to the moms. Everybody. Man. Man. Shout out to the moms. Word. Mama love Medea. I love you. Not right. Medea Tyler Perry. My grandmother name is Medea. We call Medea my family. So because she crazy. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one is from Sasha and Tiffany, Fabian sisters. Shout out, to, shout out to Sasha and Tiffany. Sasha, I love you. Familia, yeah. yeah facts. <laughs> uh. Oh wow, y'all funny. This is a funny one. Y'all funny. Mm. <laughs> one entree, two sides, and one beverage. What is your death row meal? <laughs> death row? That's what we doing? <laughs> Last meal of your life. Bam. Right. Before death you transition. Row? Yeah, I hope I before never make you it <laughs> before, <laughs> before you graduate. Before you graduate. That's what we doing, death row? I guess so. Not 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 uh staying <laughs> on the island for the rest of your life. I mean, I think it's funny. Fuck it. Death row. That's what we go with. I guess so. Uh, y'all <coughs> take y'all asses there. I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm the hell? Uh, uh, oh, for yeah. entree, yeah. Ooh, uh, damn entree. Two sides. I'm gonna go with the sides first. Mm. I need baked macaroni and cheese. Yeah, for sure. Uh, That's definitely on mine. With a side of candy yams. Damn. Don't take all my answers. I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> 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 Candy yams. Uh, for the entree, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go a little weird. Cereal. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Everybody who know me. He not lying. Yeah. I know. I he know. not lying, but bro, <laughs> I love cereal. The last meal, and like you can get two, three food. I'm gonna. You know food. I love cereal free too, food. but bro, give me another refill before I go. We done talked about this. <laughs> I need a cereal. That is not sticking to your bones. I need a cereal. Is I'm dying anyway. Oh, oh, that's wait. true. Damn. I mean, but yeah. still. Is that the is that yeah, the See, that's what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah. That death row. What are you talking That's what we put yeah. out there. I said that you yeah. what? Oh, <laughs> damn. Damn. <laughs> Not but, but with the uh, cereal. Just the cut cereal. that out. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say that. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. Yeah. Cut, cut that. Cut that. that. <laughs> but with the cereal, does that mean that you get the entree and the beverage? You just, I think you smoked yourself. 
Mm. Um, my beverage is gonna be a glass of wine. But the beverage is the milk. Ooh. That's cereal. Yeah. That's, so don't you don't drink the milk. Nah. <laughs> you gonna be shit before you even they, they hit you with that button. Then you gonna be Damn. shit yourself. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah. That's not a good way to go out, bro. I'm going out anyway. <laughs> 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 shit. That's crazy. Now, I take the cereal though, and a glass of wine, mac and cheese, and candy. <laughs> you bugging? I'm gonna tell you this right now. Hoy, what kind of cereal though? Fruity pebbles and frosted flakes combined together with some strawberry syrup on top. Damn! Going to the back yeah, <laughs> yes. Mama, you, if you know me, you know me. Go ahead now. That's all. <clears throat> you dying with diabetes? Oh, forgive me, Mama. Forgive Forget me, cause it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in portions. <laughs> cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm a real basic kind of Southern boy. So, Grandmama, Burrito Williams. Uh, I need hers. I need her mac and cheese. Ooh. My babysitter, Miss Penn, from back in the day. I need her candy yams. <coughs> uh, my uncle Dre. I might need his fried chicken. His his or my grandmother's fried chicken. They both they smack. I ain't even gonna lie. Crispy. Oh, you come on, come on now, come on with it. <laughs> That's Sunday dinner now. Don't play like that. Uh, my babysitter's father's cornbread. Lord, Mama, forgive me. I never told my mother that. That man, Cobret, was better than him. Oh, Lord. I ain't gonna lie. I'm going on. I'm, I'm naming too much now. Yeah, y'all, y'all got me hungry. It's a buffet. It's a buffet. <laughs> Listen. You got a beverage. That's it. Oh, the beverage? Yeah. I'm replacing the beverage with the cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the beverage. Give me the cornbread. That cornbread was so moist. Yo, you're stupid. It was, it was so moist, bro. So Ooh. good. You didn't need no. Drool. I don't need nothing to drink. I ain't even gonna lie. If you ate with me, I damn near go through my whole meal without even touching the drink. I ain't even gonna lie. Wow. She, I foodie. need you to drink. <laughs> I'm a fool. That's why I said I need a lady that know how to cook. You know, how to cook. know how to cook. You feel me? Because that might the the food might get you. I ain't gonna lie. This is a sidebar. If you cook good, ladies, either you cook good or you sex good. That might drive the longevity of your relationship. <laughs> say that one more time. Say, say that, say that you, one more time if for you. If you cook good or your sex good, that might drive the longevity of your relationship. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. All the way up. You, you might put up me? with more. You're going to put up with more. Say again? You're going to put up with more. Type yeah, shit, I ain't going to lie. Shit. If them greens coming out like that, them ribs coming smoking... I might, ah. you can keep, keep talking. Fuck, fuck it. Keep talking. <laughs> Bobby, right. Bobby. Da, 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 da. Ah. Yeah, all, all that shit. All that shit. <laughs> oh, you stupid. But uh, that's uh, we just let We just being men, ladies. All right. All right. Get back to it. Let me take a sip. Again, salute to the ladies. We we all about the ladies. Self-respect. Respect. Men, respect yourself. That's another thing. Remember. Stop disrespecting yourself, cause I'm tired of seeing it. Y'all making it, y'all making it harder for the for the good men out here. But Actually, like that ass. Man. Come on, cause that's why these women talk like, oh, you men this and you whoa, whoa. Because we ain't the same. What whoa. it really is, what it We're really is, is that the detectors busted. They they be talking about, uh, oh, you men ain't shit. But what it really is is that you don't know how to choose them. How about you mm. stop going for them ain't shit ass men? You're, take, going, uh, you're take, going to the club. Take you're going time. to the club looking for them. Maybe the good I mean, men ain't at the club every day. Uh, 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 they on the they on the DJ spins one to two. You heard? <laughs> Go for the DJ. It, he's doing something constructive there. He's the only one doing something constructive there. If you if you ask Amen. me, Amen. I'm just saying. Amen. Uh, don't get me started. Well, don't get me started. I don't even think we got enough time. But uh, we don't. We do, we do. No, I'm not, I thought it was cool. Oh shit, running! Yeah, stop being stupid. <laughs> Get your mind right. <laughs> stop going to the same place. <laughs> like, stop hanging out with the same people. I, I'm going all day. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> let me, let me. Let me. What's your milk be? Yeah, I'm gonna say. <clears throat> for those who don't know, I'm Hispanic. I'm gonna go with coconut rice, mm, number okay. one. Mashed potatoes, and you're gonna put a little bit of melted cheddar and, and bacon bits. <laughs> <laughs> bacon bits, yo, this is a little chico for y'all. If you don't like bacon fat, then ask for bacon bits because what the cook is gonna do, hopefully, they're gonna cut the bacon into bits. And if they give you the fat, that means that they don't like you. Damn. So either you get the bacon bits and, and you good, or you get to realize that the cook don't like you. That's what I told you about the steaks. That's true. That's true. <coughs> so I'm gonna go with uh, 
I'm going to go with coconut rice. I'm going to go with mashed potatoes with the cheddar and the bacon. <laughs> coconut rice, mashed potatoes. With the cheddar and bacon. That's cheddar that's one bacon. thing. That's one thing. Okay. Wait, what? That's one thing. No, no, no. Like, the rice is one, and then the mashed potatoes with the bacon and the cheddar is another. Okay, that's two sides. That's two. Okay. So that's two sides you got. Coconut rice and the mashed potatoes with the bacon, cheddar, and the bacon. Uh-huh. I said bacon, cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> bacon, cheddar, mash. Bacon, yeah. cheddar, yeah. hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Load it up. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you on that. What is food we talking about? Um, And for the entree, I'm going to go with a nice classic piece of steak. <laughs> T-bone. <laughs> Ooh, damn. And, yeah, I like my shit. Uh, I like it medium well. Medium. I'm about to say, damn. don't say well done. They're going to give you the bullshit steak in the spot. You know what? Medium well. You know what? What's wrong with me? I'm a medium, medium rare type of guy. Medium rare? Yeah. If you like it, all that blood? I mean, that's, that's the I mean, best way to eat it. I mean, that's it what go I down heard. smooth. I, I heard. And it gets stronger. But I don't want to see all that blood, yeah, bro. Yeah. I like to see a slight pink... Maybe a little blood. I just went to Groove Chris for um, yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chip. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a sidebar. I do a lot of sidebar, so bear with me. Yeah. Sidebar, I ain't never going, I ain't dumbing down my stomach for nobody. So if you come out with me, please be ready to eat. Because we ain't dumbing down nothing. That Appetizers, just, like, entrees, desserts. Yo, do you know yeah. that? This is a sidebar to sidebar. <laughs> do you know that there's people or gentlemen out there in the world who don't know there's appetizers? I mean, because they buy it as a meal. Excuse me? What the? <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> they buy it as a meal. They, it, they it, says it, it says bro, it on the menu. Bro, they, an appetizer is the starter, the uh, beginning. How do you go out just to get an appetizer or, uh, uh, or expect a female to only get an appetizer? When I heard that shit, blew my mind. What's an appetizer though? Because I've seen a small plate. I've seen wings on appetizer, and I'll go out and eat wings, yeah, and that's it. Shit, yeah, with a little shit. soda, and that's it. But not, but not with a shorty though. <laughs> yeah, not with a shorty. 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 That's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that was side by the side. Yeah, side by yeah. side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be taking us all around the world. We uh, do got two more questions, and then you know, two more questions. Who this me? <clears throat> <clears throat> This from Boris from NYC. Shout out to Boris. Big Boris. Boris. BB. Boris. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me see. What's this? Uh, what's the biggest hurdle you ever overcame? How has it shaped you into the human you are today? Damn. I'm going to go first. Shit. Losing my mom's the, the most inspirational person in my life. You losing her. I was lost. Didn't want to live. Didn't know if I was going to be able to survive because this was, again, she had me since I was two months old. I can't lie. She spoiled me rotten, which is why I spoiled myself to this day. I can't stop it. She, the strongest person I know, strongest woman I knew, she was everything. So uh, losing her and still continuing on with life and learning how to be a man, a good man, a good human being. Uh, that was probably the biggest and still the biggest hurdle because I'm still learning. I'm still lost. She was everything I loved, knew. The str- again, the strongest woman I ever came across, witnessed. Yeah. And I'm still, with the help of keeping myself around gentlemen like myself, I ain't sharp as I ain't still sharp and still, keeping myself around strong women like uh, my aunt, Terry. Shout out to Aunt Terry. I love you to death. Um, Shout and- out to Auntie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shout appreciate out to you. Appreciate you. And other women, mother, fi- other women who are uh, motherly figures in my life, they help me keep going. You know, uh, even people, strangers, help me keep going because I learned what not to do from them. I learned something to do from them. Living life, keeping the tools that she blessed me with and raised me with, treating people nice, putting my family first, prioritizing, learn, learn, and when I say learn. Everybody learns, but are you using what you learn? Mm-hmm. Well, you feel are, me? Are you, are you putting it into practice? That's the difference between wisdom, knowledge, and... I forgot the other word, please. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's my biggest hurdle, not having her here. Because I relied on her so much. She spoiled me so much. She kept me under her wing so much and uh, um, kept the real world away from me. The rough side of life. The, even living on my block, coming from Coney Island, it's a one way in type of situation. Is drugs, poverty, sex, money, drug dealing is all type of I mean, any any neighborhood or bad neighborhood or hood or poverty uh, area you go to is gonna have that. But 
100%. You know, Coley Allen being so small and being so close, Nick, if she didn't keep me wrapped up in her arms, I again, I won't know if I would be here with you guys. She's an angel. You feel me? Right. The biggest hurdle for moi yeah. is continuing on and not having her around. Can't she, she was your guardian angel, and now she is your guardian angel. You figured do me? Uh, I appreciate you, Paul. You know the vibes. I like that. But please, please. Because right, I could talk about her all day, so. Anyways. What about you, Ron? Uh, I have to say, my father being in prison. Um, for 25 years of my life, he's been in prison. Um, and it's been hard, you know. But... I use that in a positive way. Every negative has a positive. Uh, and we we talk every every week, well, every month. <clears throat> and he helped me out with life, but him not being here has, uh, I lost a lot of, of course, time, um, lessons on how to treat women, on how to be a man, I guess, be a real man. We're going to get into that soon. Um, how to maneuver in New York City. Um, came up in the, came up in the hood. How to move around in the hood? I didn't have those kind of lessons from a male figure, so I learned that all on my own, and I came out pretty well to this right now. I feel like, um, and also, me being a father very young has he molded me to be a decent father, so to say. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll say that the biggest hurdle in my life is just not having a father around for twenty five years. You know, just learning from that. I ain't going. I never got mad at him. Never hated him. And I also used that on humans. I never got angry or hated him for it. I understood. I respected it. I'm waiting for our time. Um, yeah, there's years that where I cried and was angry about it. But that's humans. That's his emotions. Um, I never acted on his emotions towards him. So yeah, I used that. Everything. Every lesson he told me from afar, I used it on myself and on. I practiced. I'm a mad scientist. I practice on myself first, and go out there to the um to the to you, you know, and treat everybody with grace. Yeah, so my dad told me that from afar. Him being away, him being here, I guess, made me who I am today. Yeah. I'd say the biggest obstacle I've overcame is honestly finding ways of uh, expressing myself. And now that's, I feel like that's my complete identity. Mm. Everything I do, I express myself, mm. whether I write, whether I sing, whether I DJ, whether I just go and I, I'm i hanging out with friends, I'm expressing myself every turn of my life, every everything. Mm. I came from a background, you know, I live with my, I grew up with my dad and shit. And uh, I think he's an, an outstanding human being, but like everybody, nobody's perfect. And I really never found ways of expressing myself. I was always, you know, shut down by my dad, you know, regular shit. And... Uh, I just the hard the hard part was finding ways to express myself. I used to box. I used to express my anger that way. Then I began to sing. I I expressed anger that way too. Now I'm DJing. It's just just expressing myself. I would say that has shaped me into the human being that I am now because now I could actively express myself with the people around me, but I could also do it behind closed doors by myself, and that's how I'd rather do it if I'm being honest. By myself, I, I just love being by myself. I love, uh, th th that's how you get to know yourself. That's how you learn to love yourself because if, if you don't love yourself, then you can't love anybody properly. And if you can't love anybody properly, then you set up for failure. So love yourself, love yourself, and then you can love others. And yeah, I, I put myself as, I'm, I'm number one in the world, but I raise the people that I love above me. And yeah, I think, I think that's how it shaped me. So, to go off that something my dad told me he always said if a man can't be alone he can't take care of his family mm. that's it simple as that you go home and think about that that's deep and to big, pig, piggyback off of what you just said there's a famous quote famous philosopher I, I forget his name he says all of the world's problems derive from the simple fact that a man cannot sit alone in a room I remember you told me that quote months ago uh, had me stuck yeah, people just can't be by themselves. If they're happy, then they want to share with other people, and that's 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 you know that's 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 good. But if they're mis if they're miserable, they also want people to be there with them instead Damn. of you know it, it, misery loves company. That's another famous thing. That is true. I don't know if it's the Fuck. liquor 
Oh, <laughs> y'all got me real like <laughs> emotional. No, no, no. Like <clears throat> it's not. I wouldn't even say an epiphany because I realize it's about myself. But I know it's not a great thing to be uncomfortable with being by yourself, and I'm so comfortable with being that. Same. To, piggyb- to piggyback off of what you're saying, not everybody's comfortable with being by themselves. It's hard. But I've been, I've been losing people since I've been pushed out on the earth. I never met my pops. Lost. Two months old. My mother left left me in a, my uncle's house. Said she'd be back for Pampers. Ain't come back for months on end. And then even after that, in and out the the penitentiary. Penitent. Did I say it right? Penitentiary. Yeah. Penitent- uh, jail. <laughs> Excuse me, because you know I'm usually intellectual as a mug. But anywho, but uh, uh, father from the start, moms after, even my moms, even my grandmother dying. I feel like she didn't leave me on purpose, but she was taken from me. So I'm so used to losing people. The males in my family either dead in jail, uh, in the street, almost died, almost been locked. Well either coming home, just came home, all that other stuff. And it's like, damn, I'm really okay with losing people. I ain't gonna lie, I'm okay with being by myself because I've been by myself for the longest. So. You're used to it. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm used to thinking like, I gotta prepare for if nobody else was in this world, how are you gonna get this done? How are you gonna make this happen? How are you gonna continue? Are you gonna let this stop you? Are you gonna let this break you? Are you gonna let this shake you? Can you, are you going to mm. let this blind you? Mm-hmm. That's why I ain't going to lie. I'd really be okay with, that's why, yo, I ain't going to lie. So I'd be talking like, I'm a one man party. I'm a one man army because when they were, even if I had a problem outside growing up, because you're going to always, I ain't going to say you're going to always have a problem, but you grow up in a rough neighborhood, you're going to have a problem. I ain't have no, it was nobody to call, so I called them myself. Damn. Man, I felt that. You feel me? And me not having my mom's dead, it, that, Man, that was that's a whole. It's a whole like. It's a different. You see how we talk about programming so much. That's a yeah. different type of programming. Hundred percent. You know, I had to be older before I couldn't even enjoy my childhood, even though I I did because of my grandmother. You know, I still remember certain Christmases when I woke up to the train the train set, um, and me and my cousin running downstairs before everybody else. I remember uh, me me and my cousin killing a fish because we fed them too much food, <laughs> you know? I remember my grandmother taking me to see Santa Claus, you know, things of that nature. But she, and the reason why she was able to teach me some of these things because she kept me inside the house or inside with her. Like, I couldn't learn real life, like, as in present time because my mother wasn't there, you feel me? She was prepared for that outside. Like, my grandmother not prepared for that no more. She old. You feel what I'm saying? That makes sense. Losing people, being by myself is what I'm most comfortable with. And it's scary to be like yeah, that. I, think I can't a ba- lie. That's a, bad en- that's a bad and good thing, I, I believe. Can I say again? And it's what you overcame. That's what he's yeah. overcome. I think it's a bad and good thing. I'm the same way. Like, I don't really care to lose anybody or to even gain anybody. I'm good by myself. Yeah. It, it, I, I'm scared, that I might be scared to gain somebody. Yeah. That's yeah. probably why Honestly, it took that. me so long to make friends. Because I'm scared to make friends. I'm scared to meet somebody I love and genuinely uh, cherish. And they and they somehow disappear out of my life, or they yeah. somehow do me wrong. Happened to me. You know that shit. Yeah, sip on that. Shout, shout, shout out to her. Shout out to the ones who left her. Shout out to the ones who are still here. You are. For what it's worth, I'm 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 proud of myself, and I'm proud of the two gentlemen that I'm next to right now. Amen. <clears throat> oh, we got our last question before we get up out of here. Um, last we question. Going? You got you got a point. Nah, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, I'm going I'm to thank everybody so far that, that we've answered their questions. Thank you. Yes, and thank you for the people yeah, thank who, you. who's here listening still. Thank you for the people who's going to come back next, next episode and listen. You know? Please come back. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> so the last question is uh, <laughs> Quentin Dugan, yes, sir. AKA Quint Larry. <laughs> Hadouken, <laughs> Utmost yeah. respect to Larry. Yeah. Thanks, my boy Quinn. Shout out to my boy Larry, man. Amazing man, amazing that boy man. Shoot from the line. Yes, Wait, to be clear, his name is really Quentin, but we call him Larry because he's tall, and you know he's tall like Larry Bird. He's also hosting a, a TV show uh, in December. It's called Christmas with the Dugan. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs>
Christmas with the doogies. That's so good. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Hope I'm invited. Shit. I'm a give. I'm a good gift giver. So, Quentin asks, where do you guys see yourself in 10 years from now? It's mm. a pretty good question. Mm. To good. answer your question, Q, it's a good one to end up with, for sure. In 10 years from now, I want to be in a position, I, I see myself in a position of power and not the kind of power that, you know, uh, you know, a greedy man would, would desire, kind of power to influence people in a positive way to inspire them because i love being inspired by everything i draw inspiration from everybody and any any chance that i get i'm i feel inspired um i want to be djing around the world i want to be uh writing movies i love movies yes, I, I, that's that's something that I'm, I'm trying to learn right now actually writing movies djing around the world i want to have a wife i want to have kids and I want to be, I want to be living in a castle, y'all, in New Zealand. <laughs> he he told me that shit last week. I'm like, we're gonna live in a castle, a real yeah, castle, a real like, castle, yes, sir, a real castle. That's where I want to be. Yeah, I like it. And I want to be happy, just spreading happiness for everybody around me, spreading positivity, inspiring people the way that I've been inspired, and just living comfortable. What about y'all? Yeah. I'll piggyback off of what you said about comfortability. Financially, emotionally, spiritually, uh, physically, I want to be able to take care of the family. I want to be able to put, put put people in positions of power, put people in positions of longevity, you know. Uh, I want to be able to leave something behind for my little man. Mm. You know? Foundation. <clears throat> Foundation. Sir, legacy. Legacy. Yes, indeed. Sir. <clears throat> uh, of course, the American dream. House, family, car, a dog, white, white picket fence. I don't, do, I don't do animals because I don't pick up no shit. What, what was the question again? <laughs> you see something ten years? Oh, ten years. Yeah. <laughs> again, taking care of the family, me and the, me completing all my my personal missions, um, leaving that legacy, uh, uplifting my people, uh, of all of all kinds, whether it be my blood, or my friend, or an enemy. I'm gonna uplift you still. Uh, uh, set, set for life, not for life, but for life, you know. Uh, don't let that go over yet, mm. sir. I'm a rapper of life, so stay with me. <laughs> uh, be being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it with who I want to do it as many times as I want to do it. That's important. Uh, still looking is good. That's another <laughs> thing. Black Dang. don't crack. <laughs> We got you, we got you. Uh, owning something. We, uh created I've I I've created something. You know, I've impacted people. I've uh I wanna help people, teach people, I wanna learn. I hope hopefully I learned so much from so many different kinds of people by that time. Crucial. You know? Crucial. Yeah, and and hopefully I'm thankful. Hopefully I'm thankful. But how about you, Benny? Uh, ten years from now, shit. I would like to have my own thrift shop, like a thrift shop with music in there. So music is sold in there. Old clothes, old movies, um, even antiques, little fancy or weird, ugly pieces of furniture you can have in your home. <laughs> um, I always tell my mom this. And it's gonna happen soon, hopefully. Giving her a restaurant ten years from now, or within those ten years, um, just owning business. Tiana, you going to college? Yeah, that's, a, that's all I want to see. TT, yeah, TT, TT, we going to college. That's my little sister for you. Um, Big hair, you too. That's my niece. Uh, DC Pooh. We gonna we gonna get that paper. We gonna get that piece of paper, ladies. Well, for me personally, that's his business aside. But me personally, I just want to be comfortable. 10 years from now, have enough money to pay my bills, um, to live life the way I would like to. I'm very simple. Um, I want like 10 kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he kill me with that every day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Yo, 
<laughs> we, we really gotta be rich. We gotta buy all them kids bro, gifts. I'm and not, shit. Bro, I already got my son, my niece, my nephew, three god kids, and he wanna add ten. Yeah, I need ten of them what? things. So, I'm, I might not have kids. Just my wife. I'm Man, please that. don't have no kids. I got enough for my. <laughs> Damn. Um, just have kids to sit down with in a nice, beautiful ranch. You know, and sit back on the couch and watch this podcast. A ranch? You? Yeah. Right. Outdoors and in, in, in the nature, you know. Amen. As we sit back and watch this podcast, you know, watch me 10 years ago. It's only going to get better, ladies and gentlemen. We're only going to get more comfortable. We're only going to get more truthful. More funny. I know you've been be laughing honest. the whole time. Talking to you. <laughs> now, before we, I sipped his last sip of wine, he sipped his last sip of when he got in his cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just want to say thank you. Thank you. Fasten your seatbelts. Buckle in. Um, About to think of, yeah. I'm actually a little antsy. For yeah, facts. I'm, I'm, like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, yeah, I'm you're ready. lucky, but it is what it is. You know. And follow a suit. This was page one of the Ain't Gonna Lie podcast. Flip that second page. Next page. Next week. Thank y'all again. We gonna see y'all soon. Right, Holy shit. Salute. 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 I ain't gonna. I, ain't I gonna love drink you. It. I gotta pee. <laughs> ain't gonna lie. We out. This podcast was proudly brought to you by Laughing Man Studios, New York. Executive Director is David Steingard. Editor and Producer is Tracy Thomas. Tech and Audio Support by Christopher Zen. All rights reserved to Laughing Man Studios.